I am happy and honored to introduce Bethel Steele. Right over to my right. Hi, Bethel. Hello. Bethel, you come from Boston, right? No, I'm living in Dorchester. Dorchester, okay, pretty close. And uh, grew up in farmland of Homer, New York. This feels interactive. I guess I should be paying attention. <laughs> it, does, it, no, it really does feel amazing. I'm just like, yeah, it's like, kind of like a quaint little home. <laughs> So Bethel, when she was young in, in the farmland of New York, um, loved to make forts in the woods, and she also did this cool thing where she'd stand on a rock and she would pretend to be conducting uh, to the phant <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Later on, as she got older, uh, one of the things that she did uh, was lead her youth group at her church until she came out as gay, and they told her that she couldn't do the youth leading anymore. And yeah. Bethel said that's what got her to writing and playing music. And she said uh, that she found songwriting as a creative way of self-expression. And uh, she termed it inexpensive therapy with some <laughs> joking quotes there. <laughs> She's performed throughout New England and New York. She has two CDs, Come Home and Beautiful Woman. Please help me welcome Bethel Steele. Thank you all so much. feedback from me. Right. So I'm going to start with a little ditty called um, Sweet Dreams. Of the Berkshire 
closing on a broken line. Oh, think the smell of the ocean as waves crash down on the bay. If you close your eyes and rest, child, up will come another day. Thank y'all so much. And my mother doesn't actually make apple pie. <laughs> my cousin's here who I used to make tree forts with. Well, big forts in the woods. And, and her mom makes good apple pie. Right? Yeah, OK. <laughs> I can try to mess that up. Um, yeah, so Cheryl had mentioned that um, I got into music um, by being, I was actually a worship leader for our church and for the youth group. And, I don't really talk much about that, which is kind of cool that you guys get a little inside scoop about how I started playing music. Um, and after that, I started writing my own music after I got kind of kicked out. Um, and so I stayed away from anything. Oh, no, that's not true. I think a lot of my music kind of has those little, you know, like really singable choruses. I guess you could say they're re really repeatable, really followable. Um, like structure of song, <laughs> um, but I kind of stayed away from like the most spiritual sound of things until I wrote this next song. It's called Blue Skies, um, and last January I think it was. It was like it was, or maybe it was a little before that, but it was just raining every day of the month. It was a couple, maybe is October or something. Just ran like rain all the time, um, and finally it cleared up outside the window outside my house and uh, that's where this came from and it's also kind of near new year's resolution when i uh, when i finished it up so get the idea it's called blue skies Wide. The clouds 
did divine and all I could see for miles and miles and miles in between were blue skies all the way from here to South Carolina and blue skies the gray had turned to color in my mind but blue skies goodbye to the doubt that once filled my mind for blue skies there's hope for another day 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 filled with blue skies all the way from take like two seconds just to tune this thing since this is being recorded and like will exist in history for a while you know <laughs> I'd rather it not sound terrible and exist in history for a while <laughs> um, I could talk right now too but that might defeat the purpose of my tuning so instead we'll make it short and sweet by my not talking that much <laughs> I actually also had Matt Leavenworth play on my CD, um, yeah, which is over there. Matt's great. He's a crazy fiddler. Um, so he plays an awesome lick in the beginning of this one, so every time I start playing, I can totally hear it, and it makes me really happy. Um, and I also wish that he was up here with me. <laughs> so I do <laughs> yeah. He does it much better than me, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> um, this is called Little Flame. Sometimes, just so I can see the white lines. And as I look away at across the room, little flames appear to take up my view. They're dancing on the walls, through the window frames, out onto the streets. It cannot be. thoughts sometimes the deep corners of my right mind and I've been trying to recall the last time I allowed my thoughts to run up my life now they're dancing on the walls through the window frames out onto the streets it cannot be Just 
sweep me off my feet, bright eyed little flame, burning me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think um, I'm going to play a feel good song. All right. I'm going to use this guy again. Again. I just don't want to really mess it up. <laughs> um, so. To do okay, Bethel, you can talk and do this at the same time. I swear. <laughs> um, this next song is called "The Deep End." Um, it's one of the tracks on the um, on that CD that's over there. Um, to me, this is my song of when I moved to Boston and just like you know what, I'm gonna play my music and I'm I'm gonna make something of it. <laughs> um, which I mean, that was like what three years ago. Um, Still working on it, you know. <laughs> Getting there. Still have a day job, which you know we all kind of have to have that thing to um, help our habit, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, so it helps me pay the bills. Um, but this song, um, I like to call my mother's song. She gave me a nice little black notebook um, that is uh, that she wrote in the front of it. Um, swim, my little Bethy, swim. Um, Cheryl said that also I could do some spoken word if I wanted to, um, but I, I don't have the courage for that. <laughs> um, so this is the last song I'm going to leave you with. It's called The Deep End. Sorry, can you hear that? Okay. I got strong bones, I got soft skin, got a box of strings, you can't compete with that, no, got decent moves, got a good look, got a couple lines that seem to work, so I'll work up my nerve, just give me time, gotta gain this little peace of mind, with a soul touch a cheap grin a committed step towards a deep and so I'll take a step and I'll dive right in yeah I'm not bothering with looking no yeah I know the water's deep
take a step and I'll dive right in him. I'm not bothering with looking, no. She's my lucky day. I'm so elated to be in her sway, and she's my lucky day. I could fly to the moon when she smiles that way. Still don't know how it happened. What more can I say? Our love will find a way, cause she's my lucky day. She's my lucky charm. Now I'm so proud to have her on my arm and she's my lucky charm. On the coldest night, she's gonna keep me warm. When we walk down the street, there's no cause for alarm. No one can do me harm, cause she's my lucky charm. She makes it very clear, she makes my problems disappear, and I just have to stay right here and love her. Isn't it plain to see the drastic change she's made in me? I spend all of my nights when I'm alone just thinking of her. She's my lucky day. I'm gonna buy her a big bouquet and she's my lucky day. You might think it's just an old cliche, but I can't remember when I've ever felt this way. No more skies of gray, cause she's my lucky day. I can't remember when I've ever felt this way. No more skies of gray, cause she's my lucky day. Thank you. I am who I am. Some say I am stupid, for I have accent. Some say my English is decadent. I belong to belong in a I can nearly okay. I belong in a class where they teach how to speak slow and loud, learn how to say ah and ooh American way. Some say taking English classes is a waste of time and money, for I will never learn or improve for I am who I am. Some likes me, for I am easy to push and pull. Some hate me, for I am different. Some likes me, for their friend whom they respect said I'm okay. I'm all people say stupid and not know any. Whatever people might say, I am proud and happy to be myself. I now write. I'm a funny writer. I can't spell and don't know grammar. Grammar and spellings are confusing, combining, and constricting me. I can't think when I think of them. Thought and feeling evaporate and run away from my mind before they crystallize into words. I write now tapping in my heart, 
without thinking of grammar and spelling, following feelings, mood, tone, and sound, for it is therapeutic to scribble, whether it makes sense or not, pouring, catching, casting the thought, and building on papers. I write now to improve English, to boost confidence, to convey my thought, to share my experience. I may never master English the way I want to. My English may never be good enough to some, but I enjoy scribbling and learning self, facing squarely my face and my fear. Thank you. Killing. 